Hi, everybody, and welcome to the 2016 Texas State Championships, the 25th annual version of this great event here this year in Irving, Texas. I'm Jim Stevens as we open up with some open doubles play here on table number one. That's Brian Shrunk in the forward position out of Colorado. Gary Freeman out of Texas at goal. And on the right, the talented player out of Kansas City, Missouri. That is Joe Rhodes. And at goal, Fawaz Algais of Kuwait. Joe Rhodes, of course, as we bring in Brad Anderson once again. Hello, Brad. Good afternoon, Jim. And a hearty good afternoon to you as well. And, of course, Joe Rhodes, the uh, obviously the most successful of these four players. Uh, Joe, an outstanding player, second-generation player out of the greater Kansas City area. And there you see him with that tic-tac hammered to that far corner. Here's Brian Schrunk, who really plays the game in a different way. And he's going to call an early match timeout here. Brian Trunk will put the ball back into play. And again, we mentioned this is a different kind of player. This is a guy who will get it and just go with it. And fire home the pull kick here. And quickly call his second timeout. Although we mentioned that Brian does things a little differently. And two timeouts within the first three balls is certainly something you don't see very often. He does things his own way. The guy goes out and he gets on the table and he takes a lot of chances. And a lot of times they work, as we just saw that rip and pull kick right there. He was the uh, 2015 Colorado State expert doubles champion with Tommy Bagley, an event that had more than 100 teams. In fact, my wife Amy finished second. Uh, to watch Shrink, Shrunk do what he does here, he's going to look at the pull kick, try to go to the short side, wide of the goal, comes back to Brian, bounce pass. Tic-tac, pull kick, knocked right back to Joe Rhodes. So Shrunk and Freeman have no timeouts left. Freeman gets a man on that one. And he's, and he's, Brian's one of those guys, again, you kind of watch him do something and you go, uh, what was he thinking there? Yeah. And sometimes that stuff works, and but yet you still say, what was he thinking there? Here's Rhodes, 2-1 lead early on for Rhodes and Algays. Fawaz Algays, of course, a longtime member of Team Kuwait. There you see Fawaz, really one of the nice guys in the sport of table soccer. Joe Rhodes calls timeout. All right, ball put back into play by Schwank, who passes it, sets it up, strokes it, and lets everybody know. All right. Now, the key with, with Schrunk, much as we have talked about with players like Johnny Horton, for example, is yes, this sort of play can be entertaining. The, uh, the verbal jabs and barbs tossed to the other side of the table can at times be fun to watch, but they I'm also not, occasionally get awfully close to crossing that line. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that he brings, <laughs> brings the game to really uh, have that attitude, but, you know, like I say, if, if it motivates the player, that's, that's a big part of that. 3-3 three, three now. Rhodes down the middle, and Joe with a little wry smile across the table. Joe will set up the pull shot, and Freeman will get a man on it and then capture the rebound. Gary out of Springtown, Texas, which is oh, 50 miles or so, maybe a little less from Irving. And that one stroked home by Rhodes to make it 4-3. And I, I can envision at some point in this match having an official at this table. Joe Rhodes, a second place finisher at last year's Nebraska State Championships in open doubles. National open doubles champion last year? And he was, yeah. yeah. Playing with some guy named Moore. And that one knocked into the goal by Shrunk. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> and picked up here by Rhodes. Joe has to be a little bit careful not getting in, you know, wrapped up and falling into Brian Shrunk's uh, mode of play here. He used to keep things serious. And Rhodes will call timeout. And Brian's going to. Decaf is your friend. Joe Rhodes will put the ball back into play. Both teams out of timeouts. 
Rhodes is going to get it through, and he's going to set it up looking to claim this opening game. Joe Rhodes from pull shot position, shooting against Gary Freeman, strokes it home. It's one game to nothing. And, and both goalies out there are just uh, doing the wise thing and just staying out of it, just playing the game. Second game underway. Here goes Trunk. Fires that one. Blocked and taken away by Elgis. Wah sends that one up the table off a man and in. And Joe Rhodes apparently not afraid to play a little bit of Trunk's game here. And that one stroked home by Full Waz. It's 2 nothing, and we've got a timeout. I'll put back into play here by Schrunk. Ryan's pass attempt stolen away by Rhodes. Brian Trunk out of uh, the Denver, Colorado area. Joe Rhodes from Kansas City. And along that near wall goes Shrunk. Ryan's tic-tac pull kick blocked by Fawaz, and Algae's able to pick it up, send it up the table to Rhodes. Victor, rather, Fawaz, known as Victor to many people. Really playing a good match, as is Rhodes. It's 3-0. Rhodes has decided he's going to go ahead and chat it up with Shrunk. Unfortunately, one thing about the uh, ball put back into play by Schrunk. Three nothing lead here in the second game for Joe Rhodes and Fawaz Victor Algaes. And Schrunk's going to get a shot here. And the dink. It's 3 1. Well, as I was going to say, one thing about playing kind of the uh, circus ball here, if you will is eventually you run out of your tricks. bag of tricks uh, empties, and, and all of a sudden the goalies usually pick up on that stuff pretty quick. Well, we'll see if Schrunk's bag of tricks is empty. Freeman keeping Rhodes out of the goal here. Joe will get another opportunity as he sets it up, trying to go inside Rhodes, as it blocked and taken away nicely by Freeman. Gary setting it up near side, sends it forward, picked up here by Schrunk on the five. Left hook on goal. Blod's able to knock it down, and then Algate's able to pick it up. 3-1 lead here in the second game for Joe Rhodes and Fawaz Elgates. Trunk. Go back along that near wall. Look at the pull back within one, and he does. It's 3-2. In fact, Brian Trunk has played, excuse me, played with Tom Spear on several occasions. And you talk about a contrast. can say we're going to let Trunk do a lot of the talking. Yeah, we've got a timeout here. And here come the officials.
3-2 lead now for Rhodes and Algates. And Joe will look to extend the lead here as he sets up the full shot and strokes it home. I will say that Joe Rhodes' pull shot is looking very good at very this smooth. point. Yeah. If you want to talk about foosball, that is. If you have to. I'm trying, I'm trying to bring things a little bit back to earth here. Uh, good luck on that. I'm trying. I didn't say I was going to. 4-2 lead. One game to nothing lead for Rhodes and Algaes. And sent into the goal. It's two games to nothing. So Brian Truck either gets quieter or he gets louder. Yeah, you know, if you're going to be verbal and vocal like this, you, you got to bring the game, too. Yeah. And he has, and he did last year at the uh, Colorado State Championships when he won the expert doubles championship doing this with the circus shots. So right now, he and his partner, Gary Freeman, down two games to nothing as we open up game number three. And oh. now it's going to go back into the goal. It's one nothing. Here's Schrunk. On that long pull kick, makes it 1-1. Now we're going to get a switch. Schrunk says he wants a piece of Joe. <laughs> Joe just <laughs> smiles at him. I don't think this is going to end well. <laughs> Schwunk, oh, has that one dropped in. You can't afford that if you're Shrunk and Freeman. I'm thinking Freeman would have kept that one out. All right, here's Brian Shrunk. Algates with a block. Shrunk again. Algates is there. And again. Pass through the lane, but Fawaz with four straight blocks and the takeaway. He's doing an awfully nice job actually back there of kind of getting in front of those pull kicks. And Fawaz will call a timeout. There's Gary, a super nice guy out of uh, the greater Dallas Fort Worth area, a longtime Texas player. Rods Algates will put it back into play to one lead here in the third game for Rhodes and Algaes. That one kept out this time by Shrunk. Brian has it taken away by Rhodes. Rhodes is going to shoot a snake, which he does pretty well. And he scores it. Looks like Joe Rhodes very well could get the last word in, in yeah, this look, one. It's called rubbing it in. But if you're going to bring it, you, you got to be able to handle it as well. I mean, it's not so much the issue of Brian Strong's playing style as far as playing some of the circus shots and the high speed stuff, but he's kind of bringing a, a bit of an attitude that he's just simply not backing up. Brian Schrunk will put the ball back into play. Now, Brian has not, in this particular match, backed it up with the game. This has not been there on the table. Let's see what he does here. Tries to dink it. Quads looking for it. Just missed on that edge of the goal there. And taken away here by Rhodes, who can close it out. Another chance for Joe. Match point for Rhodes and Algaes. Joe's looking yeah, to uh, try to do a circuit shot of his own. And thinks he just finish this and get it over with. Not sure he wants to. He, he's kind of enjoying himself down there. But a chance to win it right here for Rhodes. He's not going to use a pull shot or a snake shot. He's going to try to close it with a pull kick or a push kick. That one off the near post. Picked up here by Freeman. Another 
chance for Rhodes to win it. And certainly all the air has been taken out of the balloon of Mr. Shrunk. And nice pick up here by Brian. And the cutback pull kick. Two lead now. And Trunk can make it 4 3. And we may hear from him if he scores this. But Victor says no. Algates turns it over, comes back to Shrunk, who swings and knocks it right back to Ouch. Rose again. And Joe determined to hit a pull kick or a push kick to win it. Boy, Kawaz really gets a lot of power behind that shot, doesn't he? And picked up here by Shrunk with pin shot. Algates out there again. Quietly, Fawaz Algates has really played himself a good match. Has not let Brian Trunk get rolling on the table. Emphasize the quietly. I think he's actually having a good time back there. Taken away by Rhodes. You get the sense that Brian Trunk just is ready to, to get off the table. But Joe Rhodes not cooperating. And we will set up the pull shot here and look for victory. Joe Rhodes and Gary Freeman keeping things alive. Not giving up a lot of fight. Yeah, the, uh, the style, the circuit style of Brian Trunk is great when you are winning. We're in the lead, and he now pulls his team back within one. But when you're behind trying to come back, unless the other team is cooperating, as Rhodes is to some degree right now, not a great way to try to come back in a match. There is something to be said for playing a high percentage game to get to get back in a match. However, if they were to score here, they would be back in the match. It's 4-3 now. They've scored the last two. And Freeman puts that one on goal. But again, Algate's not going to let it in. Maybe Victor that's going to have to put it away, but taken away here by Schrunk, taken right back by Algate's. And that one's going to drop in. It's 4-4. To his credit, Shrunk has kept the mouth closed. Joe Rhodes, he, uh, if he gets it, you got to figure he's going to take his time with it. But Freeman able to keep that one out. And now Shrunk can extend the match. But <laughs> Algate's there to make the block. It bounces back to Brian, who hammers it home. So four in a row from Shrunk and Freeman. It's two games to one. Ryan Trunk and Gary Freeman score the last four of that third game. And give them credit, but also you got to question a little bit, I suppose, Joe Rhodes and his shot selection. That that was would be my question is who uh, Joe Rhodes is probably kicking himself a little bit for letting that game get away. He does open up the scoring, however, here in game number four with that straight off the pull shot set. And now here's Shrunk, and Shrunk knocks it in. Was that a 4-1 game? It was 4-1. 4-1 comeback? Yeah. And we're going to get a timeout. And Joe Rhodes puts it into play and hammers home the left hook. Joe saving that one up. Of course, with the new ready protocol, you don't have to wait a second. You can Go with three men and immediately advance it, and Rhodes advanced it into the back of the goal with the left hook. Here's Joe looking to extend the lead. Joe Rhodes trying to come down the middle, blocked and taken away by Gary Freeman. Quads Gates picks it up in the goal area. And then knocks it back the other way and in. It's 3-1. That's a big point right there. All of a sudden, take away some of that momentum. Again, digging a hole. Shrunk and Freeman down. That quick tic-tac lane pass. Here's Brian trying to dink. Blocked by Fawaz and coming back with a push kick. It's 3-2. 
And this one's stolen away by Schrunk. And a timeout, of course. That's at least two. will be put back into play by Brian Trunk. He'll look to tie it up, and he does. It's 3-3. The crowd's starting to grow in the bleachers. Started off with two or three. We're now up to 10 or 12. I think Joe Rose might be uh, wise to kind of Take a time out and step away from the table for just a second, kind of regroup mentally, because I think them. Mr. Shrunk has gotten into his head just a little bit. Well, he let him. He was up. They were up. They were in control. He had chances. He decided to try pull kicks, push kicks, everything else. Had six or seven opportunities to close out the match. Wasn't able to do so. Shrunk and Freeman came back, and now here we are in the fourth game, and the long pull shot taken away by Freeman. That might be three or four uh, pull shot attempts by Joe Rhodes that have been blocked. Al Gates blocks the tic-tac pull kick and in the dink. And those two gentlemen just a goal away from sending it to game number five. <laughs> if they come back and win this match, I'm going to be just slightly afraid. Ooh. Wow. Freeman gets it up to Shrunk, who can extend it to a fifth game, and he does. It's two games apiece. All right. Luckily, we're behind, we're behind plexiglass. <laughs> All right, so it was 4-1 in the third game in favor of Joe Rhodes and Fawaz Algays. Trunk and Freeman have come back to extend it to a fifth and final game, and here we go. Joe Rhodes will have the first scoring opportunity here in this fifth game. He sets up the pull shot. Tried to stroke that long, Freeman. There again, picked up here by Schwunk, who advances it. Quick pull kick. Rebound's going to come back to him. See what Brian does here. The bump kick, blocked and taken away by Fawaz. Fawaz sends it up and in. It's a big goal to get any kind of lead here. A couple of blocks, followed by a goal from Kuwait's Fawaz Algays. And it's 1-0. Here comes Shrunk, and there again is Fawaz to make the block. Despite all the different circus-style shots that Shrunk can do, there's still a limited number of options that he has. Well, that's what I mentioned before. I mean, you, you run out of, I mean, your bag of tricks go, it goes empty. You simply got to get in there and beat a goalie instead of hoping, you know, you're going to catch him off guard with something. Boy, Joe Rhodes took his foot off the accelerator at 4-1 in that, that third pass. game, and has not been able to find it. It's 1-1. One, one. Back comes Rose. And that's oftentimes the case. If you don't put a team away, if you mentally check out after assuming that you've won the match, it's tough to get back there. Especially when you have the distraction of a Brian Schrunk across the table from you. And the turnover here by Freeman. He's got to he's got to score this right now. He's been given another opportunity, and he does. That's a good shot. Best shot in a while. And then Joe looks across his good defense, Gary. But I don't I don't think Joe's really looking at the defense. I mean, he's kind of he's been guessing for the most part. So he's got to take his time up there when he gets the ball. He and he's bidding, been getting the ball on this three. So it's not been for a lack of opportunities. 2-1 lead for Rhodes and Algates. Joe Rhodes will get another yeah. opportunity here after a diatribe from 
Yep, that was the shot that he needed to be looking at. He's been pro shooting almost all longs here recently. 3-1 lead now for Rhodes. And Allegates. How is there not a ref at this table? I just don't know that. I don't think Rhodes wants one. No, it obviously is not. That's not. And we yeah. know Shrunk doesn't want one. <laughs> I don't think he cares, actually. He he'd, probably, he'd probably look forward to it. And then knocked in here with a five. It's 3-2. All right. It, what has been a very odd match. I can't say it hasn't been somewhat entertaining. Definitely been entertaining. Head, <laughs> head scratching. Rhodes will set up the pull shot and find the straight hole. It's match point for Joe Rhodes and Fawaz Elgates. Not an easy match to stay focused in if you're certainly one of these two goalies. And apparently for Joe Rhodes either. Schwank able to get this one through. He needs this one. And at the pull kick, Victor, it's just not giving him that one. And oh, that was a new one. We had not seen a pull shot there. The rolling pull shot blocked by Elgates as well. Set up the table. It's a good, a good move there. Just feeding Joe up there. Get a, get the ball on his three. Nice grab. Here's a chance for Rhodes and, and Algates to win the match. Let's see if there's a handshake at the end of this one. We will see. And Schwunk's going to pick it up and quickly convert it. Alright. Again, no official at the table. And they're not giving that one back. All right, we heard it. We are not sure whether that ball was moving or not based on what Joe Rhodes was saying and the use of the cheater word. I have to think it perhaps was illegal. Rhodes can make it a moot point right here and he does. It's over. 